to come on and just show you some cute little Easter baskets I've been working on. These are very small. They're actually a soup mug that I'd got from Amazon. And I'm going to show you how I put this together. I started with one of these plain cups, and I've had these for a little while. And like I said, I got these from Amazon. They're just a to-go soup cup. In order to make the trim, the wrap fit, I took one and deconstructed it. So I just cut it down and took it apart. And then I traced this onto a piece of paper to give me a template. So to make my wrap, I simply traced around the template and I'm going to leave this end open so I can have room to tape and, and cross over. Okay. Now I'm just going to cut this out and I'll show you the front of that in just a minute. It's got some really cute papers in it. It's got a sticker pack. And it has several cut aparts in it too, so you could also use these for some Easter cards. Okay, when I finish that, I always, I'm going to use the pink plaid. I always try it on to make sure I don't need to trim anything else off, and that looks like a pretty good fit. So when I'm doing this type of cup or anything, I prefer using the double-sided tape. I just feel that it sticks better. So I'm going to put a piece on both ends, and I don't tape anything around the edges because with this template, they seem to fit really well and they hold together. get this tape off of here. Okay, and just, I usually start at where the natural seam is. Try to get that lined up pretty straight. And then I just wrap it. And it'll tuck and wrap very easily. And then when you get to the end, you simply overlap and press down and your your container is covered. Okay, the next thing I did was for the handles and you can see the handle on this one. This actually is a package of garland I picked up at Hobby Lobby today and it was $4.99 for the package and everything of course is 40% off right now. So I just cut myself a piece as long as I thought I would need and make sure my end pieces don't have any of the little trim on them because I'll need to wrap them and tie them then I brought in my chomping tool and I set this on 3 16th of an inch and I try to come to the here's the back seam I try to come to either side so that my handle is coming up here and not across the back. So I'm just going to come in, kind of eyeballing it, get a hole made because I'm going to come back and put in a grommet. Okay, I'm going to take my tool so that I can set the grommets. I've had these two, they look like little pink flowers, if you can see that. Super cute. Pop them in. And I'm going to have to get off camera so I can okay, do this. Okay, so I've got my two little flower grommets set. And the next thing I'm going to do is simply take the garland feed it through and this has a wire it's made it with wire inside of it 
and I'm just going to wrap that around. Okay, so there we've got a little handle for it. Now I'm going to see what kind of stickers I want to put on here. What a Again, this is the Echo Park pad that I'm using. And the sticker sheet has all kind of cute stickers on it. So let's see, I, I can't get anything too tall because it won't work on here. So let's try, I think this one with the little eggs is really cute. Let's put him on here. All right. The next thing I did, I just brought in some shred. You can use Easter grass, shred, whatever you've got. Tuck it down in there. And then I added my candies. And there you go. Cute little basket, cute little treat. Wouldn't any co-workers or anybody just get a, put a, bring a smile to their face seeing that sitting on their desk if you left it for them. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and we'll be back soon. Thank you.